hi, you're here sewing with Cody. And in today's video, we are on part three of the Bernina 3 Series brochure overview. Um, like I mentioned in the other video, so many of my customers, they get a brochure, they get it from online, they come in the store, and they're looking at the back of the brochure. And they see all of this verbiage, and they're just not too sure exactly what everything is. And they kind of want to see it for themselves. So I want to create a video that goes over all of that and in more detail. So in part one, we went over the 335 and 325 general, inf general information. Um, and then part two went over the sewing, which involved a lot of the different stitches and what made the 325 and the 335 a little different from each other. The next one is standard accessories. And we're going to see a little difference between the bringing 335 and 325. Um, and I'm going to point out those differences. And so we are on the bringing 335. So let's start from the top. So the first one is presser feet slash soles that are included. So one thing with the Brunina 335, and Brunina did this to keep the cost down of their entry level Brunina machines, and that is they came with snap-on soles. So we'll go start going over them now. So here's the bag your feet come in. So I kept them all in the bag so you could see. So with the Brunina 3 series, we have a full shank, that has detachable snap-on feet. So another question we get a lot is, can we order different, new and different snap-on feet for the Berninas? No, the, the answer is no. Um, the only snap-on feet that are available, available for them are the few that come with the three series. Um, all the other feet that you would add to the machine will be full shank feet. So they'll be like this, where the shank and the foot is all one. So it's just these few feet um, with the 335 is six um, that come with it and they're all snap on. So it's super easy. They just snap right on. And you don't have to take this whole shank off to be able to snap them on. So the 335 comes with, they come with six and the 325 come with five different soles or feet. Well, soles and feet. Um, so the first one is Foot number one. So this comes with every single machine. This is what's on the machine right now. This is your all-purpose general sewing foot. So this is the foot you can pretty much use for just about anything. Uh, and that's foot number one. And the next one is overlock sole number two. Both machines come with this. That is this foot or this sole. This for me is a very useful foot. I use this a lot in place of pulling out the serger. Um, so you can get some nice, pretty overlock stitches with this. Well, basically, it'll prevent your fabric from fraying. And I've got videos, if not already posted, I'll have some posted using the number two overlock foot. So the next one is the buttonhole foot with slide. That's your 3A. So this foot comes standard with the Bernina 335 but it is available with for the Bernina 325. So this allows us to, our, to use and do our automatic buttonholes. Um, and I've got a video showing how all this works. So, but that's the foot that you're gonna use when creating your buttonholes. The next foot is buttonhole foot number three. So 3A is the automatic buttonhole foot, which comes with the 335. Now the 325 comes with a manual buttonhole foot, which is this one. So buttonhole sole number three is what we see here. So this one has the same little grooves underneath on the bottom to allow our satin stitches of our buttonholes to stay straight on the foot so you don't have them separating while you're stitching. But this is the foot that you'll use in place of this one when you're working with the 325. So with this one, you have to mark the start and the end of your buttonholes so you can measure, so you would have them measured on your fabric, you would have them marked so you know exactly where to start and where to finish. Otherwise, this one will make them all by itself. The next one is zipper foot number four. So that's this one. So this is your zipper foot. So what makes this zipper foot a little bit different from other brands of zipper feet? So this one's nice and narrow, and we just attach it right in the center. So this is the one and only foot, at least the only foot that comes to mind, but really the only foot that you can't use a straight stitch in the center needle position because it will hit. So what's different about this zipper foot opposed to other brands of zipper feet and, and with Bern all of Bernina's zipper feet, because they're all pretty much designed the same, is you can move your needle position. 
So with a lot of the other zipper feet for other brands is you would attach it either to one or the other side, depending on what part of the side of the zipper you're going to be zipper foot you're going to be working with. This one, we can just move our needle position to wherever we want because we have the ability in all of our Berninas to move our needle position wherever we would like. The next one is blind stitch number five or nine blind stitch foot number five. So that's this one right here. So this is our blind hem stitch, essentially. So it has a guide that comes all the way back and that is adjustable. So we can use the blind hem stitch and use this foot and we'll be able to make a beautiful blind hem. But that's the blind hem stitch number five. And both machines come with that as well. Uh, the other one is the open embroidery sole number 20. So that's this foot right here, an extremely useful foot. So this does not come with a Bernina 325, only with the Bernina 335. So this foot is open toe, so great for applique. So you can really see your fabric and your items bef um, the entire time. Uh, as it's coming towards the needle. So I really need to focus on stitching more precisely or on fabric or missing a design or something like that. This is a foot you can use. Um, and the beauty of this and why we use, and we're, this is the foot that's recommended when we're working with a lot of these satin stitches because what happens, and especially depends on what type of thread or weight of thread we're working with, if we're working with a much thicker thread and we're using some of those de those decorative satin stitches, they can get caught on like the number one foot. So the number 20 foot has its raised. So the foot doesn't really come in contact or smush down on our threads or our design and it won't get caught up on the foot and then mess up. So this is a very helpful foot. There are other feet you can use uh, instead, but that's the one that comes with it. The other feature is a Brina free hand system. And I actually left that at the shop. So that's actually the metal bar that comes out of this hole here. And so what that does is, just like the name states, it gives us a free hand. So right now, if we're holding two pieces of fabric and we need to bring our foot down or up, we have to reach around and lower that foot. So what the free hand system does is it goes in here and it goes comes forward and then goes underneath the table. So we can use our knee because it's also referred as a knee lift. So we can use our knee to raise and lower that presser foot without having to move our hands. It's a very handy, handy feature. Um, but the Bernina 335 comes um, has the feature, but it that's right. It does not come with the free hand system. It has the ability, but you just need to add the bar. Um, but the 325 does not have that feature at all. You have to do a mechanical upgrade. At that point, you might as well just go with the 335. Um, the Bernina Slide on Free Arm Extension Table. So that's this guy right here. So all the Bernias come with this slide on table. And the way it goes on, and to answer a lot of questions, is what this knob, this little metal knob is for. That's to attach the free arm. And that's what keeps it on. So it just snaps on just like that. And so there's no legs getting away. To take it off, you just push the button and slide it right off. So that's the free, uh, the Bernia slide on free arm extension table. The next thing is the basic foot control. So here's the Bernina, the Bernina basic foot control. So you, you can just push down just like any foot control and you'll power the machine when the foot is in the down position. The other thing is the accessory case. So here's the Bernina accessory case that comes with the Bernina 325 um, and 335. So we've got a spot for all of our different feet, some of our other little accessories, some bobbins, and a little spot for our little automatic buttonhole foot. So this is the Bernina accessory case that comes with the Bernina 335 and 325. Um, the other one is the dust cover. So I get this question all the time. Is, does the machine come with a dust cover? And yes, it does. So that's it back here. So like the way this works is it has a nice little pocket in the back, which holds like your manual, your, um, you can hold power cords, but mainly the slide on table. So this just goes over the machine and it's a nice fabric. It's kind of like backpack fabric, best way to describe it. So it goes with the machine. You've got pockets on the side, which is better suited for your foot pedal on both sides. And then, of course, the handle can come up. And that's, yeah, I thought there was something else. So when you're carrying it, you can have it up. But when it is just acting as a dust cover, 
you can flip the flap up and so completely keep dust out of your machine because of the opening. And that's pretty much it. So a few other things that come with it that aren't listed is it does come with the Bernina accessory book, which basically just goes over all the different accessories. So it doesn't tell you how to use them, just tells you what they are and what machines they'll work with. And then of course your manual for the Bernina, both Bernina 325 and 335. And also the other little accessories. I'll have a separate video going over these though. All right, well, that's pretty much it. That's part three of the Bernina brochure overview for the Bernina 335 and Bernina 325. Hopefully this answers a lot of your questions and happy sewing.